Okay, it's good. Yeah, may I, I listen? May, may you introduce yourself? You. May you introduce yourself to us so people they will hear you and know who mm -hmm. we are talking to who? I am Mohammed from the Middle East, and ah. inshallah, I, I intend to expose you on this call. Okay, well that's good. Go ahead, expose me, my friend. Go ahead. Yes, I am calling you because of what you, of your claims hmm. regarding the uh, consistent the, the uh, <coughs> consistency of the Trinity and your um, your claim that the, the the concept of Tawheed is uh, irrational. First of all, I never said <coughs> that uh, I don't believe in one one God. I believe that you Muslim when you say the word Tawheed and you speak Arabic as I guess. Tawheed does not mean one God. Tawheed means unification of many things. Correct? The, 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 the term Tawheed is irrelevant. What we know is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that He is one. Yeah, but He never say anything about Tawheed, right? He said in the Quran, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Ahad does not mean one. Your Lord is my one friend, Lord. My friend, my friend. Okay. Who is the one who is talking? Allah. Okay, how Allah he says that your God is one God. If he is the God, why he don't say I am your God and I am one God? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that he is the one God. All right. If you go in the Quran, do you have your Quran with you? I memorize the Quran, inshallah I will be able to. No record. problem. If we go in the Quran, verse number one, it says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Who is talking there? Allah. Okay, how Allah he saying the name of Allah if he is the one is talking? It is irrelevant. This is a question. There is a disease in your heart. Uh, which see, you are the not... second I ask you a question, which is embarrassing, you say it's a, I have a disease in my heart. The second no, I I'm ask you a question, which I'm is telling... which is a clearly you have no answer for it. What you start, you start insulting. What kind of debate Allah is debate? Speaks, Allah speaks, are you calling? Allah are you calling me to himself. insulting me to say to me because your God He said to you, all oh, those who they are, uh, uh, they have a disease in their heart, they can't understand the Quran, correct? So this is no, why you are no, saying to me. This is. This is not what I came to call you about. You you claimed that Tawheed is irrational. You don't have Tawheed in Islam. How you have Tawheed, but yet you pray, you you you, you kiss a black stone. We don't pray to anything besides Allah. My friend, did, did, did your prophet kiss a black stone? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. You believe in one God. The God is inside the stone or he is above in heaven? He is above the heavens. So why you kiss the black stone? We kiss it as... as uh, an act of worship to Allah. See, guys, yes, did, did, did you hear? Did, did you hear Mr. Muhammad saying he kissed the black stone as an act of worship to Allah? So the black stone is Allah and the earth. No, you just said that. Everybody heard you. You said you kissed mm -hmm. the black stone as an act of worship. Guys, did he say that, or I'm the one who said that? I am not the one who said that, my friend. You said I kissed the black Allah, stone Allah, as an Allah, act Allah, of worship Allah, to Allah. Allah. Okay, what is the connection between the stone and Allah? How you kiss the black stone to worship Allah? Explain to us. Go ahead. The black stone is a creation, and everything is created by Allah. Only Allah is the uncreated being. <clears throat> he is the only eternal being. Did you say? Brings, did you say Allah is the only uncreated? Yes. Okay. So what is the Quran then? The Quran is an attribute of Allah. Okay, so it is created or not created? It is uncreated, but it is not. We do not say that. Okay, it is hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a very uh, simple question for you. Is the Quran going to be destroyed? The Quran is from Allah. He spoke it. it this, this, this is not, my friend. This is not my question. Is the Quran going to be destroyed? It will return to Allah. No, this is not the question. I'm, I'm not asking you it's going to return, will stay. What return? It's with Allah anyway, isn't it? In the Luh al Mahfud, in the, in the, in the no, protected board. It subsists in Allah. My friend, my friend. My question, Allah. my friend, my question is simple. Is the, 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 the Quran is going to be destroyed or it's preserved? It is eternal. I, do, I never said the Quran is eternal. So is it eternal or not? Either you say, my friend, why do you don't want to answer the question? Is the Quran eternal or not? I will, I will answer you if you answer me this question. See, Allah's no, 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 my friend, you don't answer a question by a question. Answer me. I mean, this is your religion. You do not know if your book is eternal or not. Is the Quran, the word of Allah, is it eternal or not? The Quran is not eternal, but it is uncreated. So what does that mean? Will be destroyed? I, doesn't get, I didn't say it will be destroyed. I said it will return to Allah. But, but the return does not make it an eternal because the return is still there. Is it eternal or not? 
It returns in the sense this that is, this is not the question. This is not the question. Is the Quran days? going to stay forever and ever and ever, or is going not to stay forever and ever and ever? Is it there forever or no? Is is an action of Allah? Does it stay forever? My friend, the fact that Allah created my friend, you, does it so, stay okay. forever? So you are saying the Quran will be destroyed, right? I'm saying that it is not eternal. This is okay, so make it clear. Uh, when you say it's not eternal, it means it's going to be destroyed. Is that correct? It doesn't it, we don't say it will be destroyed? We don't say it perishes. So what do you mean? Not so how you say it is not eternal, and then you say it's, it's not going to be destroyed? So how, what will happen to it? What, what, when you say it's not going to be eternal, what will happen to the Quran? The Quran is an attribute of Allah. It is a quality of Allah. My friend, it my friend. So are you are you saying to me you are going to destroy the quality of Allah? It doesn't the qualities of Allah do not get destroyed. So how you, you say the Quran is not eternal then? If this is one of the attribute of Allah, it is one of the quality of Allah. And then you say to me is not going to be forever. So you are saying to me the quality of Allah are not eternal. The qualities of Allah, some of them are eternal, like his knowledge, his power. Is the, is the word of Allah if of his knowledge or it is not from his knowledge? Of his knowledge. So how you it say is, the knowledge of Allah will be destroyed? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks the Quran by his will and my power, friend. This is not the question. This is not the question. How you say that the Quran is of the knowledge of Allah, and then in the same time to, to, to me, you say to me, it is not eternal. That's mean the knowledge of Allah is not eternal. Yeah, the key it is not eternal in the sense that he speaks it. What speaks it? What, what speaks it? What do you mean? Are you Allah going to be mute? What, what, what do you mean? Allah will lose his ability to have a voice. What do you mean? No, Who cares if he speak it or not? My friend, my friend, he speak it or he don't speak it. It doesn't matter. He said it already. The one, the words he said, those are from the attribute of Allah. And you said that and you agreed. This is are from the attribute of Allah. And I said to you, what is the word of Allah? He said from his knowledge. So now he, his knowledge is not eternal. His knowledge is eternal. So the Quran is from his knowledge. And you said that already. So how is going to be destroyed? The Quran Quran is spoken by his will. My friend, power. my friend, the Quran in the book here. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the Quran, the one Allah He said, not in the book. Who care about the book? The book is a page. I print it, you burn it. I can, you know. Quran, this is not my Quran question, Abdul. You are running away from the question. The Quran which must, Allah He said, the Quran, the Quran which Allah He spoke, the Quran which Allah He spoke in His mouth, huh? Not the one he printed in the book in ink, not the physical book. Who care about that one? So that Quran, the word of the word of Allah, the word of Allah is an attribute, is an attribute of Allah. Is it going to be destroyed? Yes or no? It returns to Allah. This is not the question. This is not the question, guys. Look at this guy. Look at this Abdul. I ask him, is the is the word the, the uh, attribute of Allah? He says yes. Is it, I said, is the attribute of Allah is eternal? He says yes. And then I ask him, what will happen to it? He said, you will return. Who cares if it return or not? I am asking you, is the eternal is it is is the word of Allah which you said it is the attribute of Allah, which you said that it is from the knowledge of Allah, is it going to be destroyed? Yes or no? What is your point? If you see, you are scared to answer, you are scared to answer. You I call me, you insist to I debate me, you are begging me for a debate, and when I put you in the corner, what's your point? Answer me, I and I will tell you my point. Answer me, answer me. Don't run away from the question saying what's your point. You will see my point. So let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Hold on. I know Muslims are slow. So we go from the zero. No, the Quran will return to Allah. The Quran, I'm, I'm just repeating what you said. The Quran will return to Allah. The Quran is from attribute of Allah. The Quran is yes. the word of Allah. It is from the knowledge of Allah. I asked you, is the knowledge of Allah will be destroyed? You said no. It is eternal. All right. So now the Quran cannot be destroyed because it must be eternal for it is from the word of Allah. So now what will happen to the Quran? I did not say it is eternal. You said it is from the attribute of Allah. Did you say that or yes. no? Yes. Okay. So are you saying the attribute of Allah will be destroyed? I'm saying the attributes of Allah, some of them, they are eternal, like his knowledge and his power. But you say that the Quran is from the knowledge of Allah, is it or no? It's part of the knowledge. So are you saying the knowledge of Allah? Are you saying the knowledge of Allah will be destroyed? The speech itself, how can how who can care about the speech? I'm not talking about the speech, man. I'm not talking about the speech. What's a speech? Are we talking about George Bush making a speech? We are talking about God. This is the word of God. This is not a speech. God don't speak in vain. God don't say stupid things. Are you saying to me that Allah He said some stupid stuff, those will be destroyed, and some important stuff that they will stay? I'm not talking about that. I'm saying that Allah He have words, and those words are they. 
part of his attribute? You said yes. Okay. This, I those know. words, those words. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Don't tell me there is some, there's some important, some not important. This is an insult to your God. My God, his words is internal and they are important. There's not, no silly words God he say. So I'm asking you now, maybe, maybe your God, maybe your God, he have a silly words. I understand. Listen, listen. Now I'm asking you, let me repeat again. Please, let us not to shout, go over each other so we can have an end for this conversation in a nice way. This words, the one you said, it is from the knowledge of Allah, is going to return for him. That's wonderful. Okay. What does that mean? What will happen? Explain. What will happen? You said it is part of his knowledge. It is of his knowledge, attribute. So what yeah. will happen to the attribute of Allah, which is the word of Allah? Go ahead. The attribute of Allah was spoken in time. That attribute of Allah, which is his spoken words, was spoken in time. He spoke the Quran after having not spoken the Quran. However, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we say that he has speech, we, 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 we nonetheless understand that he has always been speaking things, his words, by his will and power, hmm. whenever he wills, however he wills. So when you say that a specific spoken word is eternal, that is nonsense. Did, not, did I say a, spo a specific spoke? Spo I said the word of Allah, the Quran is one of the words of Allah. Allah, he spoke a lot. He talked, he, he keep talking according to Islam. Okay. So now the words of Allah, all of it, it cannot be but some it, uh, of it important. My, my friend, my friend, my friend, you are being, you are, you are not, you are not being respectful to your God because what you are saying to me, your God, he uh, considers some of his words important and the rest are silly. You are silly, uh, Christian. Well, you are the one saying is. that to me. You are saying that some words are going to be preserved and some words will not be preserved. Why they will not be preserved? Why? Is it all the words, word of is the, words, is the word of Allah? Is the word of Allah equal to each other? Is it or not? The word of Allah is uncreated. This is yeah, not the question. This is, is not the question. Other. Okay. If I, if the word of Allah is not a created, so where is the word of Allah coming from? It's from Allah. So how it's not a create any created, but yet it's coming from Allah. That's mean. That Allah is not the one who brought the Quran. He borrowed it from somebody else. He just that spoke it. Right. My friend, my friend, creation, you just say something very important. I'm... Abdul, Abdul, listen. You just spoke of something very important, very serious. Who spoke the word of the word? You said Allah. Okay. Is the word of Allah created? You say no. Okay. So now we have any created word. Allah spoke it. So it cannot be from him because he is not the one who created it. What does it mean for a thing to be speaking a word? You answer. My friend, I am, I am now. He speak the word. Say, say again. Does it mean? Say again. Your voice was cutting. What does it mean for a thing to speak a word? Well, uh, as an example, your prophet he said the tree speak, the wolf speak. You know the stones. Yes. The, the stones yes. they say to Muhammad as salamu alaykum. Crazy people Sorry. they hear stuff, and that's none of my business. Now this is not my question. Don't change the topic. Listen. Don't change the topic. When your topic. prophet, when your prophet, as the stones say to him as salamu alaykum, and he say. This is a mountain. The mountain say assalamu alaikum to your prophet. Everybody speaking Islam, but that's not the question. The question is, you're a prophet. He's you, your prophet. He gave you Quran, gave you the word of Allah. Allah, he spoke. You said to me now, everybody heard you that those who spoke in words is the word of Allah, but is not created by Allah. That's very dangerous. So where did Allah, he got the words. You are, you are being silly, uh, Miskin. You are, you are saying that... Uh, when a mountain speaks, it is the mountain that speaks. It is not Allah who speaks. My friend, I'm not talking about the I'm giving you an example now. This is not the question. Focus with you, Abdul. Focus. You said that Allah is the one who spoke the words, but he did not create the words. That means he is borrowing the word. Those are not his, my friend. Where Allah he get the words from? What do you mean he borrowed the words? The spoken Be words. Because you said, because you said, Allah. because you said, my friend. Allah did not create the word. So where he got the words from? What do you mean the words? The words are his. The words of he Allah. Says, How you say it is his, but it's not a created. It is his. Okay, his what? Who is the one who created the words. word? Is it Allah created the word? Allah, did Allah create his words? Yes or no? No. Okay, guys, guys, Allah, he spoke them only. He did not create them. That's mean he did, he's not the one. That's mean he is not the one who made them. I speak now. I can speak the word of Allah. I can read the Quran. Okay, I'm speaking those words, but it's not mine. So now you you just you just confirm to us that Allah is a God who speak words, but those are not his his words. The words of Allah are uncreated, so it's meaningless to say that who created the words of Allah. Abdul, it's uncreated. So how Allah he is speaking the words, and he claimed those are his words if he is not the one who created them. 
He did not create his words. He spoke them. My uh, friend, no problem. You are saying to me that Allah, he speak, but he don't create the words. That's wonderful. I have a TV station here. The TV, I will open the TV for you and you will see the TV speaking, but it's not his word. It's the guy who speak there in the, in the studio. So now you are telling me that Allah is the same as a TV. He speak the words, but he did not create the words. The, the words of Allah are, re, are related to Allah, whereas the words of human beings are related to human beings. I don't care it's related to who. I'm saying to you, as long as Allah, he speak the word, but he did not create the word. That's crazy. How he speak the words, but those are not his words. Is it his word or the, the word of the neighbor? Where the word uh, of Allah is coming from? You said it is not Allah who created, right? He spoke it in time. My friend, I don't care. He spoke it in time. He spoke it before time. This is not the question. You, we heard that he spoke them, but he ne did not make them. Who is the maker of the words of Allah? There's no creator. There's no creator. So they came from where? They are his attributes of speech. My friend, his they attribute of speech, but you told me is, is not eternal. You told me a second ago, they are not eternal. So Allah attribute is not eternal. So Allah is not eternal. Because the second you say to me, attribute of God is not eternal. That means God himself is not eternal because this is one of his attribute. That doesn't follow. This, this is a big mistake. Abdul, it's when your you mistake. You need to explain to me. You see, you were so excited about worshiping one God and we turn to be having that God who is the crazy God who says stupid things. And you Muslims, you come with a with stupid philosophy. It does not make sense. God, he speaks word, but he does not create them. How that can happen? Just in things, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks and when he acts, those actions are not created. I'm not Allah. talking about the action and your God never act anything. What action? Your God, he cannot do anything. He, your God, he said to Muhammad, read it three times and still Muhammad cannot read. He's squeezing three times and still Muhammad cannot read. My Lord Jesus, he said to that dead man, come from the grave. He rose from the grave. My Jesus, he said to the man, see, he saw. My Jesus, he said to the man who cannot walk, walk, he walk. Your God said to Muhammad three times, read and still he cannot read and he die, he cannot read. What action? Now go back to the zero. Go back to zero, Abdul. Listen. How Allah he speak words, how Allah he speak words, but yet he don't create the words which he speak. Go ahead. Because they subsist in his being. They are of God. They Thank you very God. much, guys. Did he say they are of God? Did he say they are of God? Of God. Of God. Okay. How they are of God, but they are not created of God. Uh, like his knowledge, it is of God. So the his knowledge is not a created. Thank you very much. So his knowledge is not a created. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Quran is of his knowledge. Is that correct? It is of his knowledge, a part of Thank his you. Knowledge. Thank you. So how are you saying to me that now his knowledge will be destroyed? His, I did not say that his knowledge will be destroyed. You said because it's not eternal. You said it's not eternal. Is it eternal or not? It's not eternal because it has a beginning and it has an end. So the knowledge of Allah have beginning? Are you saying that? No, the, the speech of Allah. How you just said, no, I'm not talking about the speech, man. I'm not talking about the speech. I am not talking about the speech. Stop playing like a kid. I'm talking about the word of God, which is the knowledge of God, the speech who care because there is many words. My friend, let me let, let me school you. Are you are you sure you are a Muslim? I am sure that you are lying. OK, are you sure? Are you sure you are a Muslim? Say yes. I am a Muslim. OK, did, are you saying the Quran did lie when the Quran says that the, if the if the ocean is an ink? Yes, OK, will not be enough. The ocean will be finished before Allah finishes speaking yes or no I believe in this yes okay so how you say to me that Allah he spoke in certain time and that's it is going to be over chapter 18 verse number 109 <laughs> confirm and hold on let me let me explain to the people they are listening and laughing how you say that Allah word will come back to him and he will stop talking which means he will stop talking and that will be deleted when the Quran confirm that if the ocean was ink will not be enough to write the word of Allah, which means the word of Allah never stop. Because Allah has always been speaking by his will and power. Whenever my friend, my friend, you, you see, you are contradicting yourself. Islam is a mockery. Islam is a mockery, my friend. How, 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 listen, 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 we cannot talk in the same time. How the Quran confirm that the word of Allah is not enough to write them the sea water if it is an ink and do you know how much that ink is like the whole Quran now I can I can print it in less than a quarter of a cup so Allah must be speaking a lot now a lot non-stop he's like a radio course, station yes, okay he's always been now, speaking oh so, thank you very much guy did he say he's always been speaking thank you very much you said that Allah he spoke only in certain time but now you are saying Allah is always speaking so 
the speaking words Verses of Allah, one. which is always coming. What the point of it if nobody can hear it? And why Allah no. speaking always? No. And why He speak too much? And why He's talking no. to Himself? Let's listen. You, 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 you are in big trouble. Allah, He keep talking, guys, but non-stop talking forever. And He said that. He confirmed that. Now Allah is speaking to who now? He speaks to whomever He wills of His creation. Who, 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 who? Uh, did, didn't you say Muhammad is the last prophet? So He's speaking to who? He, He always, He is always speaking. He speaks to his angels. Speak speaks to himself. To, huh? Speak to his speak angels. To but you just say it. His, the word, the word, the word will be destroyed. The word, the, the eternal. Why he speak to the angels? Uh, what he will say to them? What? 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 Listen, 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 listen. My, my Abdul, let us go back to zero. Let's go back to zero. Is the Quran? Is the Quran part of the word of Allah? Yes or not? The Quran is part of the word of Allah. Okay. Is it holy or not? Is it? Is it holy or not? What do you mean by holy? Holy, you don't know what holy now. You do not know what holy mean. It is a divine. It is uncreated. Guys, did he say it's a divine? Did he, did he say the Quran is a divine? Did you hear it? Guys, did you hear it? The Quran is divine. How you say to me the divine is not eternal? Because it is an action of Allah. You see, the Quran is not an action. Are you a fool? The Quran is words cannot be action. Don't, stop being it, stupid. It secondly, second, secondly, secondly, how the action can be divine? Are you stupid or what? Action is an action. Are you saying, uh, my, my friend, are my you friend, saying, my friend, the action, to, the, to action the action, the action. The, listen, Abdul, listen. You said it is divine. Do you know what divine means? Divine means uncreated to do with God. Divine is uncreated, but it is God. When you say divine, it's mean it is God itself. That that was God. God is divine. Is God Himself? My you friend, my friend. Okay, so now we have. So based on you, we have two divine. We have Allah and we have the Quran. There are no two persons. There is one person. There are one person. So you are saying that the Quran is a person. The Quran is not a person. So the how Quran you said how you said there's no two person? You said they are divine. They are two divine. How they can be two divine? But yet the Quran is not a person. The Quran is not a person. It is an attribute. Do My friend, you, know you, you see, you see. Now you go back to zero. How it is the attribute of Allah, which is the knowledge of Allah according to you, and yet is going to be destroyed. Which means you are destroying one of the the most important attribute of God, which is His knowledge. But you believe in God, you Christian prince. My friend, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. What, how you say? How you say the attribute of Allah will be destroyed? You know, you, you know what? You know what? I, I, I have a challenge for you. Can you show me what reference it says that the Quran will be destroyed? It says, uh, uh, Ahmed used to say, So the, nowhere it says that he will be destroyed. What are you talking about? Does that mean? Be honest. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. Does that mean? What he says from him, it started for to him is going back. That means destroyed. No, show me no. reference. Show me yes, reference, please. You see, you see, you keep talking about the Quran will be destroyed, but until now you did not use, you did not even give me I one did reference. Not say that it will be destroyed. So it's not I going. It thank you very much, guys. It is not will be destroyed. If you go back, if you go back in the video, he said it's not eternal. How it's not going to be destroyed, but it is eternal. Not, not eternal. What do you mean by destroyed? Do you mean my friend, you are the one who said you is not you know what destroyed means. Don't play game now. now. You, it is I not going to be that it has an end. Listen, I can't accept listen, that it listen, has listen, an listen, end. listen. You said it's not going to be destroyed, and in the same time, you said it is not eternal. Destruction is like creation. When Allah creates a tree, he then destroys it and he makes it perish into the earth. This is not the in question, sense, my friend. This, this is, is not, the question. This is the question. The no, this is not the question. Destruction, right. destruction, destruction, right. destruction should be first. First of all, oh, no, no, no. Destruction can happen only for something created in order to be destroyed. Because if you did not create something, then you cannot destroy nothing, right? So, how Allah can, how Allah, how you, how you say, my friend? So, is the Quran, is the Quran. Is the Quran which is divine according to you, which is the word of Allah according to you, which is part of the knowledge of Allah according to you, which is according it is a, a part of the attribute or one of the attribute of Allah according to you, which is the knowledge of Allah according to you. Is it going to have an end or not? It's ca I can accept that it has an end. You cannot, it it's, you can it's or you cannot. I don't say again, say again, please. You cannot accept. Does it have an end or not? I can't accept that it has an end, but it cannot be destroyed by Allah as in being created. You can accept that it has an end. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. He cannot, he can't accept that it has an end. You, you said that. You can, you can accept that, correct? Yes. 
Yes. Okay. So, so, what Ahmed okay. so, said. so if it's going to have an end, it's going to be have end by, by who? Who is the one who will end the existence of the word of Allah? When Allah acts on the world, every particular action has a beginning and has an end. My friend, I'm not talking about the action. Stop playing games. Stop playing I'm games. Playing games. I am I'm talking saying, about his words. You see, Allah spoke in words, letters, letters, words, 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 not action. Stop, stop, stop talking, stop talking foolishness. I'm not talking about an action. I will tell you what action this. Now I am drinking tea, okay? And I told you I'm drinking tea, right? The D is over, but my what the word I say to you, it's not over because it is preserved. I'm God, so I am saying to you what I did. So now, Allah, he said things. Those things he said, are they eternal or they will be destroyed? He speaks in time. One thing doesn't matter. matter. He speak on time. That's another question. What's wrong with you? He speaks in time. This is the my answer. friend, guys. One look at this. Look another. at this. You see this guy. He is desperate to call me to debate me, and he want to expose me. And look what he did. He exposes God. They are very confused religion. They kiss a black stone, and they think by kissing a black stone, it's an act of worship to the divine Allah. The black stone is part of the body of Allah. Otherwise, why you kiss it? You said it's a because it's an act of worship to Allah. You kiss a stone. You kiss a stone. Listen, listen. I, I'm, I'm reviewing what you said to me since you called from the beginning. People, they will love this debate. And supposedly you call me to expose me. And you are an Arab, right? I like it. And you are, I think, maybe you are from the Gulf. Like, listen, those Muslims, guys, they kiss a stone because it is an act of worship. To who? To Allah. To Allah. Okay, that's mean. That's mean. That you said to me that Allah created for you a stone. So yes. by kissing it, you are worshiping him, correct? And you, we do not worship the, the stone, we worship Allah. No, 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 no. If, if, I, I did not say anything. You said, it, it's a, you said it's an act of worship to Allah. So kissing the stone is an act of worship to Allah. Listen, you said that. Listen, listen. listen no, uh, no, 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 no. You see, everybody, listen, everybody will understand. There is only one creator. There is one creator above the heavens. I'm Abdul, Abdul, don't change, don't, change don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic, please. Please. We, we, so we are not kids. We are not, we are not kids. We are not kids. Please, respect I'm yourself. Respect you how, how, how old are you? How old, how, old, how, old, how old are you, my friend? How old are you? Are you over the age of 16? What? None of your business. You see, you are. I think you are maybe fifty years old, and yet you cannot even keep on any conversation. So how you how you kiss the black stone as an act of worship, and yet you have a god, and he is the one who sent you a stone, created a stone for you, so you can kiss it in order to worship him. That is a paganism. Now this is if number I one. Were, listen, listen. If I were to, if if I were to, um, if I were to give charity, that is an act of worship. If I were to speak good words, that is an act of worship. Everything we do that is pleasing to Allah. My friend, is an act my friend, of my friend. You see, you are you are changing the topic. What does charity have to do with kissing a stone? <laughs> Giving charity is useful for mankind. It's a nice. It's a mercy. It's a good thing to do. But kissing a black stone. What a favor! What a favor you do to God! What a favor you do to your God, Allah, by kissing His stone. Tell me. What what favor do you do to Allah? But, 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 yeah, we don't do any favors. So, so why you are kissing the stone? Why he? You, why you are saying to me it's an act of worship? What is the act of worship by kissing a stone? To obey Allah. Obey Him in what? Where Allah He said to you kiss the stone, my friend. His prophet told his prophet's example. He said, uh -huh. so take from my from me the, the act of worship. Thank you very much. So you are saying that yes. your prophet is the first first one to do the act of worship for the black stone, correct? Not for. To what? Allah. Okay, so for Allah. so Allah told Muhammad kiss the black stone. Yes. Where? Everything. When I am and in Hawa, he does not speak of his own accord. My friend, your prophet, he speak of his own accord, and we can prove it from the Quran in the chapter of At-Tahrim. In the chapter of At-Tahrim, your prophet, your prophet, no, you are changing the topic. You are the one who said he al Hawa. You are the one who mentioned it to me in the chapter of At-Tahrim. Muhammad he forbid himself from having sex with Maria the Copt. So Allah he sent him a verse saying, "Why you are fabricating things I did not say to you? Why you are making orders I never said to you? Why you are forbidding things I never said to you to forbid?" So don't tell me he, he don't he, well, I am to al -hawa. Now we go back no, to zero. Now we go back to zero. This is, what this, what this is, is the point? What is the point of this kissing a black? What is the point of kissing a black stone? Is it true that the black stone they forgive your sin? No. Are you sure? Allah forgives the sins. Are you sure, my friend? Allah forgives the sins. All right. So Allah No problem. If we go in the hadith, we will find the, the following. Muhammad said that the one who wiped the black stone and the rukun al yamani Allah erase his sin. Is that correct? Allah. Allah. 
No, no, no. Okay, Allah. Okay, okay, Allah. Allah erased their sin. Why? It's Allah. Okay, this is not, this I, is not I, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Okay, why if I touch those stones, Allah will forgive my sin? And does the hadith say that Allah will forgive your sin? Yes or no? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives. Inna Allah my, friend, however, my friend, the hadith, however, in, the hadith in front of me, it says, I was with Ibn Abbas and Muawiyah and would not pass any corner without touching it. So I, Ibn Abbas said to him, the prophet would not touch any besides the black stone and the Yemeni corner. So Muawiyah, so, so, so Muawiyah said, uh, uh, there is not a part in the house is not touchable. Now I will show you a hadith where it says, that you know the difference between me and you my friend don't talk about the difference the difference between me and you me. I will tell you the difference between me and you you kiss a stone I don't this is the difference no. now now don't change the topic then change the topic why you're a prophet why you're a prophet did you're a prophet did you're a prophet say that black stone they will erase your sin the black stones do not erase the sins Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives my friend my, my, my friend the hadith let me show you the hadith in front of us and you will read it yet your prophet here we go read with me carefully please Abu Abdul Rahman said why do I only see you touching the these two corners he said I heard the messenger of Allah saying touching them erase the sin touching them erase the sin which mean by touching those stones your sin is erased and i heard him saying whoever strung uh, uh, seven times it's like freeing a slave so you're a prophet claim that by touching stones in the kaaba two corners the black stone and the yemeni corner your sin is erased why explain to us it is it is erased by Allah because we are doing an act of worship, which is we are visiting the house of Allah built by Abraham. My and we, uh, guys, did you, did you hear this? Did you hear this? Because because you touch the stone, Allah forgive your sin. I mean, this is madness. So I go now. I rape one hundred women. I kill one thousand being, and I do go and touch the stone. And I am my name is a Christian prince. Even I don't believe in Allah. I touch the stone, my sin is forgiven. This is how you put it. It's not how I believe. No, this is what it says he did not say if you believe and if you do, etc. If you touch the stone, it erase your sin. It says that in the front of you. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Know. Okay. Do, I do know that it that's, has, that's good. Has, there is. There is. Um, there is in the Quran. Hmm. Uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, uh, uh, "Obey Allah and obey His Messenger." So we obey Allah and we obey His Messenger, and and, and uh, the reason we, we we and there are many acts of worship. Yeah, and of course, everything in Islam has a purpose. As as um, so, what the purpose of the stone? In the, in, in the Sharia, has what a is purpose. the what is the purpose, there my is friend? The wisdom behind it. Okay, but what I is the wisdom know, behind? You might not know all the wisdoms, my friend. What is, is the what wisdom? Is I'm trying to but learn from you. How is this related to my the friend, topic of Allah? Our topic is our topic is you Muslims is, are not worshiping one religion. God. You are a pagan person. You are not worshiping one God because if God is one, and you believe in God, which is in up in up in heaven. Then why you need to kiss a stone and touch a stone and you tell me it's an act of worship Why touching a stone will erase your sin? You, you know what kind of religion based on touching stones erasing that your is, sin? Is our sins. What it is our sins? Yeah, Christian my friend how Christian. my friend my friend the hadith says it clear, clearly Whoever touched them it's erased. It's it erased the sin the, the stones erase the sin They didn't say the word Allah. Do you see the word Allah there? Not only Allah forgives this my sin. friend. Do you see the word Allah there there? Shuf, only Allah forgives the sins. You can't shake my friend. So why you need to kiss the stone? What is the stone for? It's a stone. Is it? A, is, let me ask. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Uh, do you believe Muhammad when he said that he was saying the truth? If you touch the stones, they erase your sin. I believe the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was he he, he when he spoke his sp uh, in matters pertaining to the religion that he was infallible. No problem. This is not a question. Are you saying you believe in that? That if you touch three little stones, Allah forgive your sin according to you. You believe in that? Yani if the hadith says it, I will accept it. No, no. Either so, you say either, either you say I accept it or you say I don't. Give me a straight uh, and answer. I can't say that I don't know, but this is not the topic of the debate. My friend, why you don't know? It's in the front of your eyes. I show it in the screen. Why you don't say yes or say no? Do you believe? Do you believe what Muhammad saying? It's in YouTube. I'm showing it to you. Let me read it for you. Do you want me to read it for you in Arabic, my friend? Let me read it for you in Arabic. No problem. Here we go. Read it with me. 
اني سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول ان مسح مسح ان مسحهما يحطان الخطيئه مسحهما he didn't say by Allah he didn't say by the, by, by the angel he didn't say anything if you <تصفيق> if you wipe your يحطان الخطيئه yes that's it translated as the uh, the the uh, the touching the 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 يعني مسح means to to wipe when you wipe the stone mm. your sins are forgiven thank you very much Just automatically go. automatically did you say that guys did you hear it when you wipe your stone automatically your son is forgiven so the stone have the power uh, of forgiving sin you are not being fair okay okay my friend why i'm not being fair i'm giving you time to talk we are talking at the because, same time i'm not because, insulting you because because whether allah tells us to touch a stone or to touch a tree it doesn't matter no it matter because it have to do with forgiving sin and you are the one who said to me only god forgives sin so how only and god forgives sin but yet i okay my friend can allah forgive my sin without touching the stones can allah forgive my son can can allah my friend can allah forgive my sin without touching the stones yes or no allah can forgive sins if we repent, uh, however he wills okay so why why it's required to touch the stones it is not required to touch the stone. But to no, forgiven. it's required now because you just said to me, my sin will be forgiven if I touch them. So now it is for me if I want to. You see, if Allah would forgive my sin without the stones, this means the stones are not needed. You, you see, let me show you, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on. Just a second. Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad, Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad. Yeah, Sheikh, listen. As long as you are saying to me and you agree. That the prophet he said, touch the stones, erase your sin. You wash, you wipe them, it, it, it erase your sin. Wonderful. Okay. So now, if I am a Muslim, I learned that the prophet saying to me, if you do that, your sin is erased. Now, if there is other options to do it, what is the need of this option? If I can do, ask Allah for forgiveness of my sin without touching the stone. So what is a stone for? It is ir totally irrelevant. Are you saying that we are doing an act of polytheism? My friend, I'm not saying that. It's you who's saying that. You just said that. You, you just said Allah, He forgives sin as He will. But this is His will. Are you are you saying this is? Are you saying it is not the? Are you saying that Muhammad? Are you are you saying it's Muhammad is lying when he said if you wipe the stones, Allah forgive your sin? No. Okay. So Allah. So Muhammad did not tell the lie. He is telling the truth. So you Muslims believe that the stones is the way to forgive sin. You touch the stones, Allah forgive your sin. You don't touch the stones, Allah don't forgive your sin. But how is this related to what I wrote to you? I wrote to you, I want to speak to you about Tawheed and Trinity. This is about Trinity. This is about Trinity. Here we go. We have now, we have a stone, we have Quran, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have Allah. You know, you have many gods. Which, which, which one is your God? You see, for us, as a, for, for us who believe in a Trinity, we believe in one God. We, we don't, we don't believe in 10 gods. You Muslim believe in many gods. Okay, let me ask you, let me ask you. When you, when you say to me that the, the Quran is a divine, the word of Allah is divine, the Quran is divine, and Allah is divine. So now we have two divine. Which divine is the one you worship? The Quran is not a person. It is like God's knowledge. My friend, how it can be a divine, how it can be a divine, but yet it's not a person. Because it is an attribute of Allah. Do you believe that Allah's my friend? My friend, in Christianity, it makes sense to say the word of God is divine because the Christian believe that God and His word is one. You it's Muslims not. don't believe in that. Do you believe that God and His word is one? Yes or no? I believe Allah is one. He is one. This is another question. This is another question. So now we, you, you, you confirm that you Muslims don't believe in God and His word to be one. So now we have two. The, the word is divine and Allah is divine. So now we have two divine. So how you claim that you worship one God in the same time you kiss a black stone and you say to us that this is a stone Allah he sent to us. So kiss it and lick it and then Allah will forgive our sin. How that can be? Yeah, Christian Prince, yeah, I mean, you, you are not being honest in the least and you're, you are full. My friend, I am not being honest. Expose me. Aren't you the one who said to me in the beginning when you call me, you said you want to expose me? Are you in this ability now? Everybody is watching and listening. How Allah, he have word and his word is part of his knowledge and his knowledge you are saying to me is not going to be eternal. It is not eternal. Are you saying I to me? I did not say that his knowledge is not eternal. You, you said, said the word, you said his word is not eternal. If you say his you word what? is not eternal, his word is of his no. knowledge. His no. word is his knowledge. How you know the knowledge That's, of God? My friend, how you know, how we eternal. know if God is not, oh, listen, listen, not listen. you see, eternal. you see, you Muslims, you have a foolishness. You don't understand what you are saying. When you say that Allah word will not be eternal, that the word of Allah is his knowledge. So Allah without his word, it's, which, uh, for us does not exist but because how we know about Allah, how you know about Allah how you know about Allah you know him by his words is that correct 
I know by Allah through his signs. Sign? What sign? What sign? What sign? Allah never have a sign. Allah never have a sign. What kind of sign? Allah, the sign is, is that the black stone? Is that the black stone? No, it's the sun, the moon, the earth. You My, are what does it have to do with Allah? Those are exist. Those are you know uh, exist before Islam, long time ago. What does that mean? I mean, this is this is silly. Prove to me that Allah yeah. is the one who created the sun. Okay, let me ask you. As long as you mention the sun, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your prophet he said to Abu Dhir, do you know where the sun goes? He said, I don't know. Allah and his prophet knows best. So the prophet he said the sun goes every day under the throne of Allah. How yes, you're a prophet, the throne of Allah. thank you. So, how how you're a prophet speaking the truth, but yet he says such a silly thing that this that the sun disappear every day and move from point A to point B, explaining the sunset, which is absolutely mm -hmm. false. No, he said that the sun prostrates under the throne of Allah. It goes, my friend. Don't lie. I can I will show the hadith in the front of your eyes. Don't lie, don't lie, my friend. It's, it's a shame. People will laugh at you. You see, I show everything we talk about in the screen. Maybe you don't have, I, I don't have screen, but I it. It doesn't matter. So I, I'm, I'm just warning you. I'm just warning you. Don't lie because people they will read it. Everything I say is there is only one hadith for every. There is one narration for every hadith. My friend, my friend, Sahih al Bukhari. Once I was with the Prophet of Allah in the mosque at the time of the sunset. The Prophet said, "Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? So your Prophet is speaking specifically about certain thing, which is is. The, do you know where the sun's where the sun set? I mean, look at the question. The question alone is a disaster. Do you know? Do you know where the sun set? Do you can you explain to me why he's saying that? Do you know where the sun set? It sets, it sets, and then it prostrates under the throne of Allah. Uh, mm. It prostrates on, uh, under the, the throne of Allah. This is how I remember the hadith. Mm -hmm. So you agree with your prophet that the sun goes every day and travel. And then it yes, it, uh, yes, but this is against science. That's mean you're, you're why, why against science. Why is it against science? Because the sun does not go anywhere. You know, when we have the sunset, it's the earth going around itself. The sun is not moving. I accept that, but it doesn't mean that the sun doesn't yani, isn't apparently moving. My friend, your prophet is explaining where the sun goes. He said to him, "Do you know where the sun set?" Where the sun set, he's explaining the sun is, is, is time for the sunset. He's go he's going out of the mosque with Abu Dhar. So he said, like, How is this related? Some way, how no, is because because you said to me, because you said to me that Allah have a knowledge and Muhammad he speak of his knowledge and Allah is more knowledgeable. That Allah is known through his signs, my friend. You, you, you are yes, a sign yes, of Allah. You, you, you said that one of the signs of Allah is his son and the moon, right? You are the one who mentioned that yes, to me because they are created. So, so how Allah he do not know how the sun goes, where the sun goes. <laughs> you are created and the sun is created. You see, you are, so you are, you are, you are running away now. You see, guys, he's he talk about me. I created. Don't change the topic. How Allah He yeah, is. Yeah, the, yeah, how the sun. How the sun. How the sun. How the sun is one of the signs of Allah. Yet He do not know where the sun goes. Because it is a sign of Allah because it is created. It has a beginning. My friend, this is another question. If he is the one this who made the sun, question. this is what I meant. If Allah, if Allah is the one who made the sun, he should know how the sun, what the sun do, where the sun, what, how, how, how the act of the sun, where the sun move. You don't say such a foolish thing. Even the Quran says that the sun sit in the murky water. How Allah can be, how the sun can be one of the signs of Allah, but yet he says the sun sit in murky water. What kind of God he say that? This is, this is, a, this is uh, the sun sets in the sense that uh, it, it, it passes by the horizon of the Atlantic Ocean. This is what it means. Okay, so, so you are saying anyone understand that the sun sit in a murky water is lying. The Quran does not say that, correct? No, the Quran says No problem. So based on the Quran, does the sun sit in the murky water? Yes or no? The sun, uh, just a second. Hmm. The sun sets in the murky water. Hmm. Just a second. The sun sets in the murky water. The sense that it passes through the horizon goes into the Atlantic Ocean. This is how it sets. Hmm. And 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 the, Ibn Kathir when he did, when only he, in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so it's set in the Atlantic Ocean. You are saying the sun set this, in the Atlantic the Ocean. This point. Huh? When you look at it from uh, the west, my friend. So. I'm asking you a very simple question. Do the sun really go inside the water? Yes or no? 
No, the sound doesn't go inside the water. So, it's, it's, okay, it's, it's I want you. I want you to say to me. I want you. To, I want you to confirm to me that anyone believe that the sun sit inside the water is a stupid. Say it. What does it mean to say fee? Inside. It means that it doesn't mean inside. Fee. It can mean, mean ala. It can mean over. When you say Allah, uh, -sama, when you say Allah is in heaven, you don't mean that Allah is surrounded by the heavens. You mean that Allah is above the heavens. My friend, I will show you that you do not know Islam. Allah is inside the heaven, is surrounded by air, above him air, underneath of him air. And remind me after two minutes to go to that topic and prove it to you, to prove to you that you do not know about Islam. You claim to be a sheikh, but you are no one. Listen, listen, you listen. Are, okay. Now, so now you are saying that the Quran does not say the sun is in the water, correct? Uh, the Quran says that the, the, the sun sets in murky water in the sense that it passes by the horizon, as I said. So it passes by the horizon, guys. Did you see? Did you hear it? So this is the correct thing. Anyone who says something sets. else, okay, just confirm to me. If anyone, if anyone say the sun set inside the water, that means he's a stupid. Do you agree? Uh, the, the sun sets in, in this not is surrounded by the water. It cannot be surrounded by the water. But my question is very simple. If somebody believes that the sun goes in the in inside the water, in the water, which means it's swimming inside the water, he is a stupid. Mm. Can you say that? Can you confirm? Yeah, and it depends his knowledge. He can be now today, he will be stupid, of course. Thank you very much, guys. Today he will be stupid very much. The one who said that is your prophet, my friend. And let me show oh, you the hadith. You just said the one who says it, that must be stupid. To, to, my friend, my friend, my friend, Arabic. don't tell me Arabic Arabic hadith, Arabic, Arabic hadith. I'm showing, I'm showing. I'm showing both. I'm showing both. Here we go. This is your prophet saying that the sun set in uh, He said to him, Your prophet, I was sitting, Abu Dhar, he reported, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, S A W S B M Mercedes Benz, who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. He asked, Do you know where the sun set? Who is talking, Muhammad? I replied, Allah, Allah and his Allah. apostle know best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. And you are the one who said to me, whoever believe in this is a stupid. I didn't say, it doesn't say that it's surrounded by the water. My friend, it's set in a spring of warm water. It's, it's a spring now, it's not an ocean. It is not even an ocean. You see, you are in a big, big trouble. You cannot deny it. It is in a spring of warm water. It's not, my friend, my friend, it's a spring. Do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Abdul, listen, listen, listen. Spring, spring of water. It's a spring. It's not even an ocean no more. There's no Atlantic. There's no Mediterranean Sea. There's no Gulf. See, but you believe a second ago that whoever believe in this is a stupid. No, I said that if it, if one claims that the, something surrounds the sun of the it earth, says the surround. Earth, surround. He said it said it said in guys. Listen, I'm do don't waste my earth. time. Don't waste my time. It says there in the front of you. It said in a spring but of warm water. Can, can we leave this and go to the to the crux of the matter? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hold, hold on, hold on. What what is the what is the other thing you said to me? Ah, uh, about Allah is is in the, uh, above the heaven. He is not in the heaven. Let me show you that you do not know anything about Islam. You claim to be a sheikh. You are no sheikh and you have no idea you are talking to who. You want to uh, you want to expose a Christian prince. Let us see who's going to expose who. You are a prophet. He said that Allah in the top of him, there is air and beneath of him is air. And you said to me, it's like saying that God is inside the heaven, but the fact he's above the heaven. It's recorded, my friend. It's recorded. It's recorded. It is recorded. Read with me. Read with me. The messenger of Allah, he said, where where was our Lord before he created his creation? He said he was above the cloud Below which was air and above which was air and the water Read the hadith in Arabic. Okay, let me read for you in Arabic <laughs> No, 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 okay, let me read for you قلت يا رسول الله أين كان ربنا قبل أن يخلق خلقه قال كان في عماء ما تحته هواء وما فوقه هواء ثم خلق العرش على الماء The mic is yours Okay Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I don't know the, 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 the correctness of this hadith but I have heard it before 
I, if, if this hadith is uh, is true, I will if this hadith is authentic, I will accept it. But it doesn't say that Allah is surrounded by air. My friend, it says, it says above, that, what do you mean no, 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 no. It says this above him explain. air. It says Sinishway. above above him Sinishway. air. My friend, it says I above him. I will teach you. Sinishway. I will teach you. Yeah, it's above him this air, and oh, underneath of him is air. What do you mean? It's it's it's, it's not saying that. Yes. This is explained by the hadith. Allahumma anta wa anta zahiru falaysa fawqa ka shay. You are the above everything and nothing is above you. This is the My friend, the hadith you are quoting for me, you are an ignorant. The hadith you are quoting for me, it's about the power of Allah, that nothing is above his power. And you can go and read any interpretation for this hadith and you will see you are fabricating, you are mudallis. You are mudallis, you do not know Islam, you do not know Islam. You are talking, you are talking to the one who, talk, who taught you a prophet Islam. Now listen, listen carefully. Let us go back to zero. So now Allah is inside the heaven. And you know, do you, do you know the hadith where your God, he says that Allah, he come down every night at the third part of the night? Do you know it? Yes. yes. Okay. How Allah, he go inside the heaven, but he is, he is not in the heaven. He's always above his throne. Abdul, what above his yes. throne? is? If he is coming every day, every yes. night at the third part of the night, do you want to listen or do you want to just interrupt me? My friend, I am I'm talking to you. You don't don't be upset. We are talking together. You see, this is the nice thing about this that we are not <laughs> read with me, read with me, read with me. Sahih Muslim, our Lord, the blessed and the exalted, descended every night. Descended. Do you see the word descended? Yes, I accept okay. Allah how Allah descended, but yet he is not inside his descendant. How he is descended yes. to the ground or to the heaven, but he is not inside the heaven. Explain to us. Are you claiming that everything that descends has to leave its place? Well, the Quran confirmed that. Isn't it your God? He said in the Quran, after he finished the creation, he went up to the sky. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ثم استوى على العرش. Yes. He, yes. He so he, on the so he was not in the throne. So Allah, your God, he had to step down from the stone, from the throne in order to finish his creation, correct? Well, he doesn't go underneath the throne, but my friend, the, the my friend, the okay, the this guy, he, he did not go underneath, uh, prove it, he did not go underneath the throne, prove it, go because ahead. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa huwa al You see, you are quoting for me something have nothing to do with topic, the qahir is the one have a power, don't be stupid, <laughs> this is about the power. <laughs> Abdul, the Abdul, let me get you busted, let me get you busted. Does the hadith in the front of us, it says that he go down all, uh, every night, and he go down to the lowest heaven, descend to the lowest heaven. How many heaven there is? Seven. Seven heaven. So the lowest heaven is what? That means Allah is this under, is under already, under six heavens. No, no, this is wrong. What wrong? If he is descending, yeah. Allah is descending no. from the heaven, from the se from the seven heaven. Listen, listen. Abdul, listen, listen. Abdul, listen. Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad, Sheikh Muhammad, listen. Allah, he is listen. where? Allah is listen. above the seven heaven, correct? Let us just take step by step. Allah is above the seven heaven. Do you agree? I, I have the right to ask you. You've, you're asking me too much. My friend, my friend, you, I, I'm, I'm done with you. You see, you said to me you are a sheikh. You said to me you want to expose me. You said to me you are a hero. It turned to be you are a potato and you are no one. And you do not know your religion. And you do not know your Quran. And you do not know anything about Islam. And you don't worship one God. And you and you consider Christian the black stone as an act of worship. And you consider the Quran as a divine, but yet it was going to, it's not eternal. And you consider the Quran to be the word of God. It's attribute of God. And yet it's not eternal. You are stupid. You are a fool. Don't ever dare to say I can challenge your Christian prince. You cannot challenge me. One person. Now answer. How Allah explain to me? Don't change the topic. How Allah is in the seven heaven, yet He is going to descend into the lowest heaven without being inside it. Explain to us. Do you claim that for a thing to descend, it must leave its place? So your God, are you saying to me, your God, Allah is lying to us? He said descend, but He don't leave His place. He descends really, he comes closer, but he is always above the throne. Guys, he coming closer. Who cares? If it, okay, you are trying to me he's driving his car. Okay, guys, let us drive this. This is Allah. This is Allah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Allah throne. Okay. And Allah throne, according to Mr. Muhammad, Sheikh Muhammad, is like an elevator. So he is not leaving his throne, and that supposedly make him not leave in his place. That is stupid, my friend. So if Allah the go down, it says descend, it says descend. My friend, it says descend. Do you know what descend mean? Descend means he draws closer to his creation. No, my friend, the Arabic word is yenizilu rabbuna. Yenizilu. He go down. Don't closer. Okay, how he get a closer? Explain to us. How how Allah get a closer to us? But are you claiming that for a thing to descend, it must leave its place? I don't believe this. My friend, my friend, how I can go down without going down? 
It says, it says yen is zero, yen is zero. Do you want me to show you the dictionary, the Arabic dictionary, what yen zero mean? You will not be able to answer. You see, you are not being a man. You are not being a man. What the word yen in the Arabic dictionary? Sent. The word yen zil means sent? Yes, but sent without leaving his place. Abdul, the word yen means sent. Descend. Descend. No, it's mean to go down. This is the English word. Go down to make it more clear. I can show you the dictionary right now. So, when Allah He says in the in the hadith, according to your prophet, He descend from the heaven number seven to this to the heaven number one. How does this happen exactly? Explain to us. He draws closer. How he draws so How? while he is about the stone. How? But I can give you an example. Are you you are basically claiming that it is impossible for Allah to do that? Well, you see, it's impossible for Allah to be Allah because if Allah wanna be close to us, why He descend anyway? I don't see how it is rationally impossible. My friend, fact, my friend, if, the, what is life. the purpose? What is the purpose of your God to go down every night? Can you explain to us in the, in the hadith? Why? To, to draw closer to his servants who pray to Thank him you very him. much. To be closer so he can hear them. So Allah, you have a problem with hearing. Allah is not all hearing. Every night he come down in the lowest heaven so he can hear you when you talk. So you are saying to me as a Muslim and your prophet confirmed that that the reception the antenna the antenna of Allah does not receive the prayer of the Muslim So he have to go down every night every night He had to get a closer get a closer get a closer get a closer so he can hear us what kind of God He cannot hear me from his heaven I don't respect I don't respect you my friend I don't respect you because you are lying you are saying to me I want you to swear by Allah Right now Truth. that the hadith Respect does not say that Allah go down. I want you to swear by Allah that the hadith doesn't Allah, say that Allah doesn't, doesn't go down oh, Swear by Allah that the hadith says that Allah comes down. I swear by Allah and I swear by Allah that You, you say guys he just, he just confirmed he said he swear by Allah that the hadith says come down He said that Yes, so you agree with me. So you agree with me. Allah come down. Yes. Thank you very much So what the problem Allah come down how Allah is yeah. Almighty, how yeah. Allah is Almighty, how Allah is Almighty, but yet He is inside His heaven, and you must reject Him to be inside His creation. And then, in order to hear me, He have to come down. Why He need to hear me by coming down? Can't He? Can't He hear me from there? Can't He hear me? Can't Allah hear me from there? Allah can hear you from from above. So why why this story, this drama is happening? Why Allah have to come down every third of the night to hear me? Why does Allah have to come here to kill Himself? To in order to forgive, there's us. nowhere, there's nowhere in Christianity says that God he have to come to kill himself. That's a lie. Don't change the topic. What? We will talk about it. No problem. Kill him. Abdul, Abdul. No, he came. He came. The Jews they decide to kill him. And I your God. Let me ask. Let me ask you. Let, let, let me. Let me. Let, 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 let change the topic. We can go there. Let's finish this one. So okay. if Allah, okay. if Allah, if Allah, so, listen, listen, listen. Listen, my, my Lord, my Lord Jesus, you Muslim, you keep lying about Christianity, saying that God came to kill himself. That is a big fat lie. There's no verse in the Bible that says so. There's no place in the Bible that says that God, he decided to kill himself. That is a stupid of you to say. God, he knew what people they would do. He knew they would they, they are going to do harm for him. The Messiah, he told Peter, he told all the apostles, you will deny me tomorrow. You will betray me tomorrow. You will do this to me tomorrow. He knew the future. So he know your future. He know what will happen. He did not ask them to kill him. He did not call them. He say, hey, come and kill me. He did not make them th think about killing him. This is their decision, but he knew the future. This is what Christianity is based on. So you fabricate lies about Jesus. Now we go back to the topic. What kind of God? He cannot hear me unless he go down every night. Why Jesus? Jesus in the Bible. Jesus in the Bible says, hold. So, 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 so. Jesus in the Bible said, hey, pray for me. I answer you. Knock at my door. I will open for you. It doesn't matter where you are. He said, every two of you mention my name. I will be between them. That is impossible unless he is the true God. How your God cannot be between us right now? Oh, listen, listen, listen. Based on the hadith, based on the hadith, your God, Allah cannot hear us right, right now. Correct? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears us always. So what the hadith here is about? Then why he come down? It says he come down. He come down every third part of the night. Don't lie. Don't lie. The hadith says he come down every third part of the night so he can hear us. No, it yes, not so can he so he can hear us. Yanzil Rabbuna ila Sama Dunya Hina Yapa Thunithun Lady Lahir. What does this mean? It means he comes down as an act of mercy. He, he comes, comes down, down as an act of mercy. He can he cannot do that. He cannot do that if I'm, okay, 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 okay. He cannot do that act of mercy when he is in his throne. But why why shouldn't he do that? 
that's mean he is not almighty because he cannot do it in his throne so he have to come down he's you know your god your god you, you muslim you lie to us you say if allah wants something to happen he say b is going to be but look you have to take a taxi every day and come down from point a to point b i mean i mean and listen 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 let me let me ask you let me ask you how allah allah will come down where where, where is the lowest heaven located it is underneath the second third fourth up to the seventh heaven in order to believe in that that's mean your god believe in the earth to be flat because no the earth is round okay thank you very much guy did he say the earth is round did he say that but the hadith says allah come down every night in the third part of the night yes okay well in the third part of the night is 24 hours a day it's because you, you are ignorant you don't want to listen i my want to explain my friend my friend explain to me uh, you are the one saying sure. that allah come down Listen. allah come down every day yeah. every day in the third part of the night did you agree with that because when he descends he does not descend by leaving his place my friend this is not the really? question this is not the question my friend this is not the question my friend this is not the question this is not the question this is not the question Ab Abdul, listen carefully. Uh, let's listen, Abdul. He leave his place, and we prove it because it says he descend. Stop lying. He descend. He descend. He descend. So stop lying. Huh? Explain it. You did already. You did. Now answer me. How how Allah will descend down in the third part of the night when the earth is not a flat? The earth is not a flat. He descends in a relative manner. What relative manner? What does that mean? It's, are, are you saying it's, it's fake? Is that real? It is real. Allah descends to this creation and not to that creation. My, my, my friend, is it is it real? Is it real or it's fake? Is it real or fake? It's a real descent, but he doesn't leave his place. He only draws closer. My friend, what do you mean? How he can draw closer if he is not moving his place? Not rationally impossible for a thing to draw closer. So why he is using? The, so place. how he is using the word descend? He can say a different word. He can say, "I make you closer to me," but he he chose to say, "Listen, listen, listen." He 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 chose to say, "I descend." He did not just choose to say, "I will make you closer." He you said, don't, don't "Yani zilu rabbuna." Listen, Abdul, you are the one who don't know Arabic, guys. In order for Allah, let, let, I'm showing in the screen how the Google uh, how how the Earth is. This is the Earth. So when you say yen zero, yen zero, if we say this is Mecca, let us go here. This is Mecca here. This is Saudi Arabia. Muhammad is speaking in Saudi Arabia. Wonderful. Okay. So now Allah is where? Above the sky. Muhammad is speaking about his God as if he is above. So Allah is here. Okay. The throne. The throne. No problem. I'm going to draw a throne. It's very important to have a throne. I mean, God cannot be a God if there's no front throne. That would be a problem. So here we go. This is the throne of Allah, guys. Okay. Don't you believe in Adam, in listen, listen. No, we don't believe in a throne as a physical throne. God do not need a physical throne. Listen to me here carefully. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. listen, listen, listen. Here we go. This is the throne of Allah. And this is Muhammad here. So Allah is going to come down every third part of the night. Right? I don't believe in non-physical thrones. My friend, you believe you you must believe in a physical throne. You you must believe in physical throne is carried by eight animals. By eight angels though they are animals they have faces of animals face of an eagle face of a lion face of, don't don't fool me you know i know more i know more than you can imagine about your cult now listen listen don't change the topic don't change the topic so allah now is above the earth right how he can be above how he can be above when the earth is round he is above, because he is outside of the the heavens what as what outside still the earth the earth yeah, is wrong. Yeah, like, my friend, my friend, he is above from which side? Allah will, uh, Allah will go down from which side of the earth? From here? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above. We direct our hands towards Allah above. It doesn't, yani, the, the, yani, it doesn't at all matter that the earth is spherical. What do you mean doesn't Allah matter? Let, let me ask, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you. Let me prove to you. Does the Quran say the earth is a flat? Yes or no? No. What if I show it to you? What you will do? Are, this is a consensus. Do you do you promise? Do you promise to apologize? I will not apologize. Uh, how, how can you show something which is a consensus among Muslims? The the, the all the Muslims, as Ibn Taymiyyah mentions, and as Ibn Hazm mentions, there is a consensus. What consensus? Muslims, what consensus? Uh, I will show. I will show you the interpretation. I will show you the Quran. I will show you whatever you wish. What do you want? Did Allah? Did Allah? May, you know. Listen. Listen. I heard. Uh, <clears throat> 
uh, I heard the Muslim they say that Allah in the Quran he mentioned the earth is like a shape of an egg is that correct I don't know I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that وَكُلٌ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ as Ibn Abbas this, uh, explained it he mm -hmm. said uh, فلكت, uh, it's like um, it's spherical he, he used the word which means it's spherical what for Yasbahun. Yasbahun means they swim. Yasbahun means they swim. And that's something Muhammad he took from the from the pagan uh, uh, from the pagan Sabian. Yes. Your, your prophet he believed that every plant is taken a boat and is swim. This what if you falik and yasbahun. Thank you very much. So now does the does the earth there is the earth flat in the Quran, yes or not? Read with me. The earth, the earth is spread out, but it is spherical. Read with me, please. But how is this Stanishway, Christian Prince? How Stanishway, is this way, Stanishway, Stanishway. Yeah, we we are talking about Allah will descend. Uh, you see, a topic how will lead to a topic. I have to prove you now. You are the one who said to me that Allah is one God and Muhammad, he don't speak of his own and everything is coming from Allah and Allah is the only one God and we worship one God. So look what happened now. You have a God who said the earth is a flat. A chapter 71, verse number 19. وَجَعَلَ اللَّهُ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضُ بِسَاطًا Is the word بِسَاط mean a flat carpet? Yes or no? It is explained by the other verse which says وَهُوَ الَّذِي مَدَّ الْأَرْضَ مَدَّ الْأَرْضَ Thank you very much. We go to مَدَّ الْأَرْضَ مَدَّ الْأَرْضَ He made it flat again. Yes, it is flat in a sense but it is spherical too. What do you mean flat in that sense but spherical too? How that can be? Either it's flat Okay, let me let me prove to you that you are again lying to me. Is it is it your prophet who order you to face the Qibla, the Kaaba? Yes. Okay. How somebody live in America, he can face the Kaaba. The, uh, how is the Qibla? What is the Qibla? You, you define the Qibla. The direction of the Kaaba. Yes, but is it is it permissible to uh, what is the what is the what is the Qibla? The Kaaba is the place of the Kaaba. Type. So what what is your question? How you can you how you can live in 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 America, and you can face the Kaaba. You direct your you direct in the you direct your face towards the direction of the car. How you can direct your face? It's in the other side of the earth. It's down. The, in order to do that, you have to put your head in the toilet seat. You, uh, uh, miskin, you are, you are you are ignorant. <laughs> you don't think straight, my friend. Let us see who don't think straight. How you can face the qibla if the qibla is in the other side of the earth? You Muslims, you direct your face and you claim that you are facing the Kaaba when you pray in America or Australia or Europe. That is a joke. That's a stupid. You, there's no way you can face the Kaaba. Nobody can face the Kaaba. <laughs> the, the only way, the only way for for you to do that, Abdul. The only way, the only way to do that, if you believe that the earth is a flat. Who is above the heaven? Allah is not above the heaven. Allah is not way anywhere. Allah is a joke. He is not exist. And I can prove it. What kind of God? My friend, my friend, my friend. You see, you keep jumping like a monkey from a topic to a topic. Allah is above the heaven. I explained to you. I showed you the hadith that Allah above him air and underneath of him air. My friend. Don't hang up and don't run away. Coward. You said you want to expose me. This video is in YouTube. People will laugh at you, claiming to be a sheikh from Saudi Arabia when you do not know even to answer one question about I your religion. Say I'm from Saudi Arabia. Where are you from? Where are you from? Tell me, where are you from? I'm not going to tell you. Why not? It is none of your business. Ah, right? okay, okay. So, okay, so you are from the Middle East. Okay, now listen, listen, listen. We go back to zero. We go back to zero. This is what the Muslims are. All right? Now, you're a prophet. You're a prophet when he was in Mecca. He was in Mecca. He uh, claimed. Prince, can I ask you a question? Because my, you haven't asked me a question. This, my, this no, you, you are the one who asked me the question first. You forgot. It was your question who came to me. This is not fair. Do you believe in fairness? My friend, do I don't know. I don't believe in fairness. You are a Muslim. A Muslim don't believe in fairness. You're a prophet. He said. You're a prophet. He said, kill those who don't believe in Allah and the last. Month. This is not fair. You don't. You don't. You don't talk about killing me and raping my wives and taking my land and then you speak about fair. Shame on you. Who are you to speak about fair? You are the last one to speak about fair. You are a Muslim who believe in rape, who believe in killing, who believe in theft. You're a prophet. He said that even their kids is halal for you. Go and kill them. Your prophet is not a person who can teach fairness. Now, now answer, Blackstone Kisser, Mister Mister Blackstone Kisser. I really enjoy talking to you. Are you going to answer me or not about what we said? We are talking about the same topic for the last one hour at least. And then now you did not say, you did not give me the answer. Are you going to give me the answer or not? 
you have to give me 30 seconds to answer because you're not giving me any I'm time. giving you the last hour to talk. You said nothing. You said rubbish. Now, we go back to zero. Letting me talk. Is the Quran. I want a confirmation from you. Is the Quran, mm -hmm. which is an attribute of God, which is of the knowledge of God, as you confirm to us, is it going to be eternal or it is not it eternal? Possibly be eternal. The actions of God and his I'm not talking about the actions. Stupid. Stop. Stop mm -hmm. being stupid. Stop being stupid. I'm not talking about the action. I'm talking about the word. The word is not an action. Don't be stupid. Action. The word. What is this? What do you mean by the word? This is the letter and the meaning. Give me, give me a reference that the word of Allah is His action and it is not His knowledge. His, how you say to me? How you say to me? It is His knowledge, and you say to me it is His action. How knowledge is an action? It is. It, it happens by His power and will. This is not the question. This is not the question. Is it an action or it is a knowledge? It is off. Is it? I already answered. I already answered. You know, you know, you don't answer. My friend, let me teach you. Let me teach you. Let me teach you. Let me teach you. Allah subhanahu wa taala. Al kalima fi lugha. Al kalima fi lugha. Qawlun biduni fal. You are an ignorant in Arabic like your prophet who do not know how to quote a name correctly. What is kalam? What is kalam? Listen, kalam. Lafzun yuqal wa leisa fal. Al kalamu ma qila wa qal wa yaqul wa leisa fihi fal. So it is not an action. It's not an action. Listen, Abdul. I'm asking you. Let me let me rephrase the question for you because you Muslim drink camel urine. You are so slow. The word of Allah. The word of Allah. I'm not talking about the action of Allah. Is that more clear? The word of Allah, which is not the action. How is the word not an action? The Quran all of it. The Quran. The Quran of all of it is not action. All of the Quran is, is not, the Quran is, is the Quran, my friend, is your God reporting a story. There's no action in it. It's a story to report. The Quran is a spoken words. It was spoken. It's a, it's time. a spoken story. There's no action there. When your prophet, let me let me let me let me let me, let me teach you let me teach you some intelligence. When your God Allah, He spoke about Adam to Muhammad, He was speaking at that. Listen, listen. When your God, when your God, He said to Muhammad. That I say to the angels, I will create an inheritance, Khalifa. Hmm? Yes. Okay, which which, which some 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 Muslims they say it is Khalifa. You know, Khalifa or Khalifa they don't know. No. Now listen, listen, listen. What was it happening at that time when Allah He said that to Muhammad in the Quran? Was it happening at that time or or Allah reporting a story? Answer me five. Answer me five of my questions. My if friend, you, you have no question. You are no one. You are a potato. You've been served and you've been cooked. Don't call me again. Next time, let your dad call me. Right. This guy is a shake. You want to debate me? <laughs> Man, you want to debate Christian Prince? Are you sure? I mean, are you sure? Are you sure? I didn't know those people are crazy. How dare you? I mean, me myself, I'm scared to debate myself. I'm telling you, I will lose. I did it many times. I put the mirror in front of me, I lose. No, 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 my friend, this guy. No, no, no. You see, you guys, you do not know. Those, those, this guy, he is very well trained, but he did not know he is talking to who. This is what happened to those people. They think they think they can predict me. You see, I'm not like others you see around. You don't know how much I know until you push the bomb. Are we clear? You step on my toes, I will eat you alive. So they go and they watch my videos. They say, okay, he will say this and he will say this and he will say this because based on my watch. But what I say in my videos is not my knowledge yet. What I know is beyond your imagination. They think they think they heard it all. How many of you heard me for years and years and years? But each time you listen to me, you, you hear something new, right? But you have to give me a reason to speak about it. And this is what happened with them. When they call me, they got busted. Christian Prince, I am calling you to expose you. Mm -hmm.